this question in this video i'm just going to do the a part in my next video i will do the b part <laughs> let's look at the a part so here 8.16 the circuit shown in figure 8.16 is known as a current conveyor and here we have the diagram for the circuit and a part is asking assuming y is connected to a voltage v a current i is forced into x and the terminal z is connected to a voltage that keeps q5 in the active region so that the set that a current equal i flows through terminal y that a voltage equal to v appears at terminal x and uh, that a current equal i flows through terminal c assume beta to be very large corresponding transistors are matched and all transistors are operating in the active region okay so here uh, what are they saying is connect the y terminal to a voltage p and also force the current i through the x and they are saying prove that the exact same voltage appear in uh, x and also prove that the exact same current flow through the y then C. Okay, now let's see. So in order to do this one, we can maybe I can copy this circuit right here, and I'm gonna paste it. Okay. And here, whatever the difference we are going to make here is you are going to connect this one with the voltage source. Let me use a color that is visible for this, both of them. I think, yeah. I'm looking to change the color. Da, da, da. I'm looking at where can I change the color. Okay, let me find out the color thing because I need a different color to do this. Um, da, 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 da. Where do I change the color? Okay, let me try this. I don't know if this one works. No. <clears throat> so I couldn't figure out the color change, but um, I don't want to waste my time on that. Okay, grab a wire from here, connect it to a voltage source. Plus minus and that is connected to the ground so this one is voltage v connected to the y terminal and there's a current flow in the x terminal that is i current okay this yellow color is not very visible but i don't have any other choice okay and this is the current flow this is uh, the voltage and uh, if we name this one according to the this one we have the current flow this one is can be called as and if you look at this we have pnb transistor and npn transistor uh, if you look at the difference the npn transistor the arrow point downward and in the pn 
speech transistor arrow pointing inward so in the pnp transistor the top part is emitter okay so the current flow through this one is ie and based on the transistor name we name, name it as ie2 because this is q2 and the current flow three this one is this is collector because this is uh, npn transistor so this is going to be ic2 right here and uh, this is also npn transistor so this is going to be ic3 flowing through this and then we can also call this one as ic1 as well because the collector of this one and th for the pnp transistor the collector is in the bottom so for the pnp transistor collector is bottom for npn transistor collector collector current is on top so ic1 and ic3 same thing you can name it as whatever you want and this one is a collector current because it's a npn transistor so we can name it as ic5 over here and uh, that is it okay this is the circuit uh, only difference you had notice is that we connect a voltage source and we are applying i current to the external okay so now based on that we are going to do the question and uh, if you consider a emitter current in a bgt transistor whatever the current flow through the emitter is equal to the current base and the collector if you look at this ie apply case here ie entering this and uh, the one like if you apply case here with the not whatever the current current entering the not should be the current exiting so we have ib and uh, ic here therefore this ie should be equal to ic plus ib okay and uh, if we want to express ic in terms of ib ic is nothing but beta times ib and then the ib remains the same here what you can do is you can take the ib command and that results in beta plus one and they are saying that that assume the beta to be very large it means this beta is much greater than one beta is much greater than one so it means compared to the beta value this one is negligible it's like adding a adding a one to a very, very large number you can just approximate as multiplication of beta times ib okay so we can neglect the one because this beta is very large so we can say i is equal to beta times ib okay so that's the first thing we had to we had to know and also if you notice ic also beta times ib so it means whatever the ic current is going to be the ie current okay that is one thing to know so if that's the case then if you notice uh, the diagram here i really want to change the colors and stuff I closed it for some reason. Okay, I will figure out later. But uh, let's deal with this color on for now. So therefore we can say IE is equal to IC because IC is also beta time IB. IE also beta time IB. So we can say IE is equal to IC therefore we can say the ic1 current um, is equal to i because there's no base current at all because if you cancel that ib right here you still get beta times ib so base current is nothing there so we can say i is equal to ic1 because whatever the current goes here goes exactly here because there's nothing in the base going so uh, apply case here consider this as zero exact current going here <coughs> okay and they are saying the transistors are matched so if it's matched it's gonna form a current mirror whatever the current in this side is gonna be the exact current this side as well so if we say ic1 is certain value the exact ic1 value should be in the ic2 as well because these two transistors are matched 
we can say ic1 is equal to ic2 and this ic2 is nothing but ie2 because there is no current in the base as the derivation ib is almost zero so we can say ic2 is equal to ie2 therefore by doing all the derivations since ic1 is equal to ic2 ic2 is equal to i2 ic1 is equal to i therefore ie2 is equal to i okay so similarly if you look at q3 and q5 these two transistors are matched it means whatever the ic1 should be equal to ic5 ic5 and ic1 is nothing but i therefore ic5 is equal to i <clears throat> okay and the next thing is since the transistors are matched we can say vbe1 is equal to vbe2 the base emitter voltage vbe is nothing but vb minus ve so we can say vbe1 is equal to vbe2 since they are matched so if you consider that then this voltage at the x is equal to voltage at the y vx is equal to vy and which is equal to v because voltage at the y is v so that's the exact same voltage we are gonna have at x as well so we can finally conclude that therefore thus the current a current i flows through the terminals y and c and a voltage p appears at the terminal x and a voltage v appears at the terminal x okay and that's it for this video i hope you guys found it helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video